you'd like to go to China, Honolulu, India. Well, suppose you did. Could you find your way around those countries? Would you know that Song Ma Church means where to, mister? If she said, Kimaki Makine Oe E A O, Katnai E A E, would you say, Let's go, sister? If you heard, I know I'm in Merk to read. Could you choose a kind of sauce? An invitation to the dance. Would it throw you for a loss? If he knows you think it's fun, he will show you how it's done. Far off land. Well, all right. So you're not going to any of those countries. You're not going anywhere except to another class. I wouldn't be too sure about that. One of these days, almost before you know it, you're going to leave this place. You're going to say to your friends and your school. One of these days, you are going to go out that door, down the walk for the last time, and into another world. It's a big world, a busy world, the world where work is done. You'll be in the middle of it, and you'll be on your own, wondering how to get where you want to go. Chances are you don't know just yet where you'll be, what job you'll have, what work you'll do. Maybe it's building you like. Maybe you'll have a small part in big-scale production. Or maybe you'll build the whole thing yourself. You don't quite know where you fit in whether you'll be the boss or get bossed around, whether you'll be telling or getting told. You don't know whether you'll be the inventor or the parts maker, the dreamer or the man who makes the dream come true. Are you going to build your buildings on paper or in concrete? Will the job you do be enormous or minute? Will you be in at the beginning of the work or the end? You don't know just yet of all the jobs in all the drafting rooms, in all the shops and factories, of all the jobs in the laboratories and at the machines and in the offices, which will be yours. But this much you do know. Somehow, somewhere, you're going to build something. To do that, you need to know the language of the building world. You have to be able to write down on paper how high it is, how wide, how deep, what it looks like, what it is made of. This is the language of the drafting room, the language of the blueprint. You need this language to make an object as simple as this wooden block come out exactly the right size and shape. Without this language, no complicated engineering project could be undertaken. Suppose you were going to build a house. Without the language of the building world, you and the architect might not understand each other. The 
architect and the contractor might go about the job in different ways. The plumber and the carpenter and the mason would never be able to work together building the same house. But in the language of the blueprint, each of you knows exactly what the house will be like, how many doors and windows and rooms it will have. The whole thing is clear so that nobody makes a mistake. With this language, you can talk with other people who work in the world where things are made. The man at the drafting table communicates with a workman he has never seen. This language coordinates the efforts of hundreds of people who work together and guides the hand of the man who works alone. This is the language of the engineer who creates a design out of nothing. On the blueprint, his story is told over and over for all the men who are going to make the product. This is the language of the pattern maker who shapes the design out of wood. The pattern is the language of the foundry where the wooden shape is cast again and again in the form of metal. The blueprint is the language of the machine shop where the rough metal parts are finished to hair's breadth exactness. Because this language is accurate and clear, the finished parts work together. The blueprint describes how they should be assembled, and the blueprint guarantees that they fit. You need this language to find your way in the working world. At a desk or a drafting table or a machine, you will have to be able to read and write this clear, exact language that tells how things are made. It isn't easy to learn, but you can do it. As this man did once. And this man too. And these. This is where you begin, at the beginning, taking it slow, in your stride, first things first. Angles and circles are easy. You never have to learn more than a line at a time. How far you follow, what you build, or what part you play in the building is up to you to decide. There are so many jobs you can do so many factories yet to be built and things to be made in the factories. So many cars and buses not yet produced to go over the highways not yet constructed and over the bridges still to be built. So many rivers to span and buildings to build and cities to plan. So many impossible things to achieve. You have a journey to make into the working world. This language will help you find your way. Take it along when you go. <laughs>